Hey there, it's Amelia, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to upload a video from your iPhone using the YouTube app on your mobile device, and I'll also review how to prepare and upload and finalize your video using your laptop as well. Let's get started. So on your iPhone or other mobile device, you want to go to the YouTube app. Make sure you're logged in to the correct channel in case you have more than one login or channels. Tap your icon on the upper right to access account settings. Next, tap your channel. And at the bottom, tap the circle with the plus sign. Tap upload a video. And you may be prompted to allow YouTube to access your photos or videos. Go ahead and tap select more photos if needed to select the particular video. Tap to select the video from your photos or albums. The video thumbnail appears. Tap the video to preview it or it may start playing automatically. If everything looks good, click next. On the Add Details screen, add the title up to 100 characters. You generally want your video title to be long enough to be descriptive, but not too long to where it becomes hard to read. Next, click the pencil icon to add a description up to 5,000 characters. If you don't have your full description ready just yet, it's okay because we're going to save using the private setting, which means we won't put the video live just yet. And then you could finish later, either on your mobile, or you can move over to your laptop to finish entering all the information, which is what I'm going to show you momentarily. Set the public, unlisted, or private option to private. I've already done so, and this will save it as a draft. You only want to change it to public when you're ready to put the video live. Again, this is helpful because if you have your title, description, tags, and thumbnail saved on your computer, you can switch to your computer momentarily to finish entering the information. Complete any additional information. If needed, click Add to Playlist at the bottom to add to a playlist. Next, tap Upload. Momentarily, the video will be available in your videos. Again, it's set to private, so it's not live just yet. Your uploaded video should be listed at the top with the padlock symbol since it is still in private mode. To continue editing on your phone, click the vertical ellipsis, the three dots, to the right of the video. Then tap Edit. Make any edits and then when you're ready to put your video live, change the visibility to public. As an alternative, if you're like me and you like to prepare your thumbnail and other information on your computer, then you want to swing on over to your laptop to continue editing on your computer. Open the YouTube Studio on your laptop or desktop computer, and the link is studio.youtube.com. Again, make sure you're logged into the correct YouTube account. Before we continue, I just want to point out that on a laptop in YouTube Studio on the upper right, this create button is what you would select if you wanted to upload a video from scratch from your laptop. Now let's continue with the video that we already uploaded on the mobile device. From your dashboard, select content on the left. You will see your newly uploaded video at the top of the list. The thumbnail may appear gray or blank at this time. So you want to hover over the blank thumbnail and then click the pencil icon to edit. Click in the title box to edit your title if needed. And next you want to click in description. And if you've prepared your description elsewhere, then you want to go ahead and paste that in at this time. So under the description, you have the option of creating a thumbnail or uploading your own thumbnail image. If you're using TubeBuddy, the thumbnail generator will guide you to create a thumbnail. Otherwise, you can leave the default image as the thumbnail or change it later if you're not ready to go live. I like to create my thumbnails in Canva. I have a separate video on how to use Canva YouTube thumbnail templates to create a thumbnail image. If it's ready, you'll see it here. Next, click the drop down arrow for playlist to add the video to an existing playlist. 
or you can create a new playlist. Next, you'll want to add keyword-friendly tags. It's best to research your tags ahead of time, and you could either type them in Notepad ahead of time with a comma in between, then copy and paste it in the tags box. Or, if you have TubeBuddy, you could use TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer to help you find some good keywords. Moving down, keep or change the language as needed, and look over the other fields. Many of the default values are fine to keep, but you want to just give a look and change them if needed. You also want to click Save periodically to make sure you're saving your changes. At the bottom, click the drop down and select a category as needed. On the right, a URL will display for your new video. You can preview it if you like before going live. Also on the right, you can add additional things like subtitles, end screen, and cards. An end screen can be useful when your video is over or near the end to direct your viewer and link to other videos or to prompt them to subscribe. You can also use info cards to provide other relevant information about your video, link to a related video or website, etc. Let's go ahead and click end screen and here you can select one of these options. I'll select this option to include a link to a video and a subscribe option. The element will be added towards the end of the video as shown here. You can change it if needed, but I'll leave mine as is. And then for the video, if I click video best for viewer, additional options are available here on the left. I'll click to choose a specific video. I'll select this video and you want it to be related in some way to your other video. Notice the alert at the top of the screen that the end screen element will not display for private videos. We'll remedy that in a second by changing the video status to public when we go live. Click save. And at this point, if everything looks good, you're ready to go live. You want to change the visibility from private to public and click done. Finally, if your channel is approved for monetizing under monetization, click the drop down and select on and then next. If a pop-up box displays for you to review, go ahead and click submit. At this point, your video will then be active and ready on your YouTube channel. Well, that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, be sure to smash the like button and click subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. Bye now.